Hey there folks, Lenny Rudeau here for Fish Talk Magazine. You might have noticed when I made my cast there, what I'm throwing here is a BKD. It's a straight tail plastic. And sometimes people ask, how do you work a straight tail plastic versus a paddle tail plastic, right? You think those different tails got to have a different action. Well, the truth of the matter is I work them very similarly. And you can see how I'm kind of snapping the rod tip up and then letting it fall. And the one thing about using the straight tail here is I'm never going to reel steady and smooth like this. Just never. I'm always working this thing every minute, every, the whole entire time I'm bringing it in. Why is that? There is no natural action to this tail. I've got to give it an action. Now, if I'm using the paddle tail, I, oh, oh, oh. if I'm using the paddle tail, I may well slow down and just give a steady retreat. And that paddle will just keep on wiggling and waggling and it gives a fine action without any added input from me. Let's get this guy off the hook here. Well, I'm letting this guy go. What happens, we have the folks from Angler Sports Center here with us today. So uh, let's ask Alex. Alex, do you fish your uh, straight tail any different than your paddle tail? Oh yeah, way different, for sure. I'll go out of the way here so you can land your fish. Oh yeah, let me grab this. Oh, that's a beautiful that's fish. That's a nice fish there. You want to get a net on him? I think I can grab him here. Beautiful fish here. He really wanted that too. He sure did. <laughs> yeah, so a couple of different ways you can uh, work a paddle tail, uh, different than a straight tail. Just straight retrieve. Cast it out, let it sink down and just work your way back or sometimes you can give it a little stop and just bounce it and keep reeling but overall a little bit easier to work with and it's going to give you a good amount of action a little more vibration on that and like i said it's pretty simple to use so just uh, for the record why don't you tell us what exactly that is right there so right now we got a five inch you know, paddle till there, soft plastic, uh, three quarter ounce jig, GI jig, and fluorocarbon. 20 pound flora, and that's all you really need for out here for sure. So that works magic, especially for this fall time. You want a little bit bigger profile, five inches my go to. Pretty simple. Very nice. Now, folks, just for the record, if I have inexperienced anglers on board, I usually rig them up with a paddle tail, just like Alex said. It's a little bit simpler. That lure is going to have some action no matter what's going on. Uh, I really, really, really like the straight tail, particularly when fish are in relatively shallow water. You're going to be working that jig hard. It just has a fantastic action. And uh, nobody's going to deny the BKDs catch fish, so you really should be carrying both. That's a good fish. Look at that. Thank you, Zach. Boom! Now, notice here, folks. This one's on the paddle tail. Well, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you get out there and catch a ton of fish. And don't forget, you can follow Fish Talk Mag on Instagram. You can check us out on Facebook. You can go to YouTube and see all kinds of videos just like this where we dig into different aspects of mid-Atlantic fishing. And if rock fish in particular are what you're after, we have an entire playlist, straight bass playlist, Feel free to check it out and get on out there and catch some fish. Don't miss another cool fish talk video. Click below to subscribe.